Legacy. Welcome back to another Fidel vibe, Fidel vlogs, or whatever you want to call it. Today's video, as you can see by the thumbnail and the title, we're pulling up on a, a old friend. So this friend, I've been capping to her that I was going to pull up and shoot some content with her for a very long time, but I have not did that. So today, we're going to pull up on her and we're going to shoot some fire ass content. Hopefully she's excited and you know, this is a new journey for her. She want to start creating content. I am her only access to creating content. Who else create content in for work for her? Me and her are going to go get some, something to eat. We're going to sit down, have a little talk. You know, we're going to just get get to know who she is and get to know who I am. You, you can get to know our relationship, me and her, our bond that we have and how do we know each other and our history, where do we go from. What's up, the dog boy? <laughs> what? Guys, before we go, can I tell them like, comment, and subscribe? Like, comment, and subscribe, and hit for 10,000 likes! Yeah, but we and, need, we need 10,000 likes on the video. Wait, 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 and get some $10,000. Let me tell you, let me tell you. I am moving to Houston. No, seriously. <laughs> Houston fucking supports, like, that's one thing I said. When I went to Houston, and I kept telling everybody, like, oh, I got a hair page, I got a hair page. Most of my followers came from Houston followers. Just just because of that? Just because of that. Just saying I got a hair page and we was in Houston for a fucking vacation. So you basically saying forward niggas don't support niggas at all. They don't support because it's random ass niggas. They're not even from Houston. We're all coming from different places to come celebrate an event that Houston always throw every year. The uh, first question they always ask down there in Houston is what, what do you do? That's good though. That's the just, first just, question. Just so I can get my feedback with, so I can work with you. Yeah, it's like that's the first question that every nigga that Houston, what do you do? And for what you never hear that for real. You don't hear what do you do? It's okay, I don't have no nook. Damn, what about the Yo. woman? Let me tell you, let me tell you. Like me, I'm, I'm, at, I'm at that point of life. I don't really care how bad you are, fam. If you have nothing to offer me, I, I don't Yeah, care. I don't really care. Like, bro, Literally. what do you do? Like, do you work? Do you, are you an entrepreneur? Like, what, what do you do? And I feel like. What do your friends do? My friends. Yeah. My one of my Since y'all are graduated. One of my homegirl braid. Well, really, like that's why I said I want to do a series, like trying to figure out life after graduation, because this shit feel weird as hell. <laughs> Knowing like you gonna wake up and Wait. you not, it's not mandatory for you to go to school. No hey, more. talk to talk to Frank. Let Frank know. Frank, I be trying to tell Frank <laughs> that shit is different, folks. You having to wake up, somebody already gave you a whole day schedule. A whole day schedule. Then you having to wake up and plan your own day schedule. You know. That shit is weird. Like I, I thought I was, mm. I was rushing for graduation. Like I kept saying. So now you want to go back? Yes. <laughs> I definitely do because I feel like I'm, I'm going to definitely miss high school. I took lessons from that shit. Bro, I've been out two years. I want to go back too. Yeah, it's literally. like I literally want to go back to high school. Like I be sitting there on my phone and memories are pop up. And it's just like, dang, I'm never going to be in high school no more. Literally. Like my homegirl just sent the video in the group chat. Of, that girl, I don't have to be crying like a motherfucker. Man, I cried. <laughs> like I cried on graduation. Like not the, not like before, before like getting my makeup done it took so long for me to get my makeup because i just kept crying like i don't know it was girls just serious. girls go cry bro. i don't know that shit just feel weird like actually knowing you is not coming back hell no like you can't never relive that again that was a that was just memory. and you know some high school people they think they gonna have all the friends they have they think they gonna, they oh no you are not i literally the only people that i've talked to from high school Five? But it, it was literally like a group of 20 of us or something like that. But like I, I feel like that shit's going to drop drop it's lower gonna too. It's going to drop lower yeah, too because, because we all finna go to college. Agree. So. Now it's time for real world uh, achievements. Yeah, so I feel like... Pay for bills. People, <laughs> yeah, like... Yo, YouTube, as you can see... Look at her. So as you can see, we just put up the Smoothie King and what you gonna get? I'm gonna get an acai bowl. Acai bowl? Yeah, see, they're gonna try it. Yeah, I'm gonna try it. Hey, today we're gonna do a little mud bang. So y'all stay tuned. Let's go inside and yeah, type shit. That's all I'm getting from, <laughs> from McDonald's. But ain't nothing wrong with the chicken nuggets. People be saying that shit is bad, but. It is, because you need to learn and understand that when you get it's okay if you get and what is that shit you finna get us? It's called, what's that? Uh, it's that shit that have all that yellow 
Those are our pineapple. Okay, that should look good too. Yeah, it is. I don't eat the peanut butter though. So uh, most most of the time you be eating in here? That's because I feel like it's too hard to be eating other different shit. Like like McDonald's type shit. It's Imagine eating a fat ass burger right now. Let me tell you. Right, let me tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all ain't Can I also have the same thing? Is it gonna be uh, together? Yeah, together. Yes, you, know, like you want blueberries? You like blueberries? Yeah. Oh, okay. I don't like blueberries. You don't? No? But I go out here, bro. She's sick. <laughs> She's sick. Don't like blueberries. So you want the PB Swizzle with the blueberries, bananas, and then go uh, peanut butter? Peanut butter with honey, right? And then for your? You like peanut butter? No. <laughs> take, take that off. Take the peanut butter off and put it in honey. That shit sound nasty. <laughs> The bananas, blueberries, and um, strawberries. Right? Yeah. And then the granola. Yeah. Is that gonna be up? Yep. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Oh, you work you work at the bank? They recruited me out of college. Oh. Yeah. So that's why you work at the moment? Yeah. Must be paying good, right? Okay, okay. Nice to meet hey, you. Likewise, take care. Bye. If you want him to stay, at least you gotta you gotta at least pay him like a normal job, right? A month, right? So you're gonna pay them every two weeks? Yeah, tight. And 4,000 a month every two weeks. I'm a that nigga. How much are our like? How much are our? It really depends. It really depends. Because I feel like if, say, say you say you get about uh, 200 for you, right? Yeah. It, it is good money, but can you feed your family? No, not right after. Not right when you start getting paid, I feel like you gotta wait for a little bit. You two months just don't come right before the wait. Then you gotta let your fans and your audience get used to you all type of shit. Yeah, and then sometimes you don't wanna like live a regular life. Like I mean you wanna live your regular life, but then people gonna always like um Like you know it's crazy. I've been having Fidel vibe for one year and so far I made six hundred six hundred so far. It's the most I've seen. Six hundred. Yeah. Like right now every month I be making like two two hundred. It's not bad. But I but feel like it's something for you just recording yourself. Hell yeah, what? It's something Bro, for you just recording yourself. That's that's if I really had like that shit coming in like consistently, bro, I would be doing that shit every day. I would just be recording myself. But I'm gonna get back to I'm gonna get back to music, so it's gonna music. Yeah. That's so where why that's do where you like what do you get out of music? Like that's where my life is and my life ends. Like I started for Dell Vibe just to help other people, if that makes yeah, sense. But you so like, like music. Yeah, I don't really like all that. I just started that to like get my the, the the niggas I was chilling with. They was being too complacent, too like, you know, if that makes sense. Yeah. They're stuck in one bubble, so I had to start for Dell vibe, start going to Dallas, start picking them up, start doing late nights in Dallas. So how do you feel like recording content and co-working and recording content in Dallas? I like Dallas better. I feel like in Dallas you have a a wider aspect to be yourself. You know, and for what this like, I don't have nobody energy to feed off. Like, let's say for example, you do content, I'm doing content. Yeah. At least we can feed off of each other energy. And for what? Not really a lot of people forward that do content. For sure, that's why I started going to Dallas so I can meet new friends and talk to new people. And I feel like Dallas is more like it has a lot of entrepreneurs in Dallas. You want to do like a police officer to stop you if you just sitting there driving an SRT. Agreed. He'll Agreed. just drive stop you because you have an SRT in this type of neighborhood. Agreed. They'll think, oh, it's stolen on some shit. And like, you're black. And you're black, like you can't mm. have no SRT. Like I don't like stuff like that. So I feel like why not just like that's what I'm saying. You can't really have nothing in my words because I feel like everything. Yeah, like you, they expect you to be minimized to this, like this image. You can't have a nice looking car. Uh, you can't have, a, oh, you can't walk around with money. You can't walk around with a designer bag. People think it's fake. That is true. That but is damn, true. who told you my bag was fake? Do I, do I, niggas, niggas in forward do not have money for real. Yeah, like who told you my bag was fake? Like, what are you talking like, about? Like, you know what's crazy? Like in, in four words, when I tell people I'm a content creator, they're like, "Oh, you do content? What the fuck?" But in Dallas, in Dallas, when you say that, bro, it becomes easy. They're like, "Bro, you do content? That shit normal over here." That's what the, in Dallas, right? Yeah. Like I kept telling myself, "I'm gonna go record in Dallas one day. Like I just wanna go out to the night, record myself, see how I do content in Dallas." People always tell me, "Yeah, content in Dallas yeah. is good because, especially if you're a female, it's a lot of boys out so there." So we gotta add that in, in our roster. Something to do? Yeah. But that shit lit. Because I definitely want to go record content mm -hmm. in Dallas. I definitely do. I, and I appreciate you get more out of it. You know if I was a girl, bro, and I was a, like a highly beautiful girl, mm -hmm. like you, right? Yeah. Bro, I'd be vlogging, bro. I'd be just like... Because niggas want to yeah, see girls. What's that, 13? Yeah. 15. Yeah. Damn. What if it's in my head? Do you have money like that? <laughs> <laughs> this guy got money. I have zero friends that I talk to every day. That, that's Cap. I got friends that I talk to every day. Facts. But those those are like content based people, though. You know, if you do content, you do music, you do influence. You un you're not normal. Normal is a nigga who go to work, come home, back to two K. Tight.
Are you a are you a depressed person? Do you get depressed? I do get depressed and that's why I say like I stay down for a little bit before I come up. Like normally people stay depressed for like depression don't really have a certain like time period. Time period. But it ends, but it depends on how you push yourself out of it. And I feel like me, I don't really just be like, oh, okay, pushing myself. I wait till I be deep down, mm -hmm. then I push myself out of it, and now I gotta start back and go hard and grind, and then it's like I be burnt. It feels like I be burning myself out. Let me let me ask you a question. If you had a say, what is what is one thing that gets you depressed the majority of the time? One thing to get you depressed. My lifestyle. Your lifestyle. Living. Okay, so it could be better. It could be better. Like, I don't like the way I live. Like, okay, okay. And that's just me being honest. I can sit here and lie to y'all all day and tell y'all, y'all, y'all got the shoes I'm on. I got a car. I got this. I got that. I got that. You know what's crazy? You're not living bad either. So you basically, you, you can get more See, out of life. That's what I'm saying. Like, I feel like I can get more. But one advice that I would give people. That I wish somebody gave me earlier, earlier mm -hmm. is if you freshly in high, well not freshly in high school, but you like a junior. That should be good. You like a junior or a senior in high school, like you finna get out, you finna go into the real world. Save, 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 save your you're, money. You're saying that like your biggest issue growing up was saving. Was saving. That was <laughs> my biggest issue. Save, save your money, like. I promise y'all, I spend like I'm rich. So what is one thing you spend your money on the most? That I regret? No, no, no. One thing that you, one thing you spend your money on the most growing up. Shoes. <clears throat> so your closet is full of shoes. And it ain't even full of shoes, y'all. <laughs> Where are the shoes, though? Gone. Like, they're gone. I spend my money on shoes. Crazy. And they're gone, y'all. I promise y'all, every time this girl, came out. Bro, you funny, bro. You said your, your biggest thing growing up was spending money on shoes. Yeah. Then I asked her, where the shoes at? Don't, she don't have the shoes. Don't have them. Y'all, they're gone. You wow. know how it is growing up. If y'all grew up in a, in a um, house home, where y'all had like one bedroom, two bedrooms, three bedrooms, four bedrooms, four bedrooms, It'll be all, it's, if you grow up in a big family, you know it's always that one person that can't never keep up with nothing. Yeah. But they don't want to buy something, <laughs> but can't keep up with it. And that was my sister. So how much money you spend in total? On shoes? Yeah. Y'all, so I wear a size four. My feet is not big. So I was spending about like $107 on shoes. What, what, what is the, the annual income for your lifetime? What is the most? That I didn't spend for like shoes. just all together. But I probably didn't spend about a good ten thousand dollars on shoes. On some shoes, yes. Cause I, mind y'all, I started wearing Jordans like middle school, sixth grade, so all the way to twelfth grade. And mind you, Jordans that came out with thousand of shoes. Anybody ever bought you some shoes? Yes. Oh, yeah. I yeah. I see on your graduation you had got a whole bunch of things. What is the what is the most expensive one you got, and the most the one that felt more like hard heartwarming that like she put some effort into this gift. So the expensive one and the one the, the heartfelt one. Um, from people or from myself. People. Um, from my two from my three teachers, I got um. Teachers give you gifts. Yeah. Man, you got you just love. Yes, I was. My teachers they was waiting for me to leave. <laughs> <laughs> and they still contact me to this day. I still talk to them to this day. They'll call my phone and be like, what are you doing? Not doing nothing. What do y'all do? Look, as you can see, I am currently in the restroom. And yes, we just did a mud bang. We sat down, we vlogged. You watched this whole little vlog and you're probably wondering, down for Del, when are you dropping the next vlog for Del? Vlog for Del, I miss you for Del. For Del, I love you for Del. I am a fan of Del. If you're thinking like that, comment down below, hit that thumbs up button, and I'll keep vlogging with you. So yeah, let's go back out there, and let's leave for her, and yeah, look at this. Whoa! There you go. <laughs> <laughs>
Repeat the drip though. Drip check. Got the white tee. Uh. Let's go. Let's go. One thing about TCU, I think you gotta pay like $200,000 just to go to this school. Is it really worth it though? Huh? I had a friend. He was my friend. Then he gave my girlfriend number two. I'm not telling you for this. I'm not telling you because I'm not in your best interest. Like, bro. I'm in your best interest. I'm telling you something like, I'm telling y'all that these motherfuckers using you sitting there with a damn. You know, like, and it's all about boundaries and it's all about if you your intentions are pure, you know? Agreed. And if that person is not pure and not respecting your boundaries, then cut them off. Literally. They can't be your friend no more because they're not respecting your Especially boundaries. Especially when you got like a vision type shit, bro. Yeah, if, if you feel as if you can't talk to nobody else, like, so I don't like that. And then you be so quick to cut off your friends. Well, don't talk to me no more. You ain't even got to worry about talking to me. <laughs> cut me off and don't fucking cut me back on. How many, how many times he did that shit? This the second time. The first time he did that, and then the girl ended up playing him or whatever, right? Yeah. So then, okay, I went to the graduation. I still support it. You know, me being me, I went to the graduation. I still support it or whatever. And then we started back talking after graduation. He went to college type shit? Yeah, at TC, we started back talking. Oh, shit. And I'm like, okay, like, you're going to school close to home. I'm going to school close to home. Like, That's okay, I just got a friend that I can talk to. Like, you know, we can go out and do shit. So me and all my home. Like, he's an introvert. Like, he's quiet. He don't talk to people like that. I don't like people like that. Unless it's just in his circle. And Burley in his circle, he still won't talk to you like for that. Real? Yeah, Burley even. So, if he know who I am, this nigga not gonna talk to me for real? Mm -mm. You said me and you have a conversation, he's not doing that? No, like. You in a car with him, he's not gonna talk to you? No, he will listen Boy. to music. Don't even get in my car. <laughs> he would listen to music. Like, he don't really like talking. He don't really like talking at They're all. They're terrible. Yeah, he don't. I, I don't know if his social communication for him is bad. Like, you know that shit like, is terrible. I don't know. And I'm what? like, how do you get a girlfriend? You Do you talk to her? Shit. Comment down below if you like this. Because you, you don't talk to your friends. So I'm trying to figure out, do you talk to your girlfriend? Like, the fuck? I'm just like. So I'm like, okay. So we all went bowling. Like, you know, we're going bowling, we all cool. That was our first time seeing those kind of doors. I seen some other TCU doors, but that was our first time seeing those kind of doors. He gave y'all a tour? Yeah, of the doors. Tight. Okay. And we thinking every shit, everything cool. Like, you know, we thinking everything cool. And uh, boom, out of nowhere, My niggas start hating you. Start being weird. <laughs> like, damn, stop talking to us. I'm like, damn, what the fuck? You ain't talking to us no more. I ain't your bitch. I'm not your hoe. I'm just, we're just cool. We're just friends. We all went to middle school together. This nigga had a girl made y'all cut off the real girls that you had in your life. We're the real females that are really down for you, like happy for your accomplishments. Like you went D1. <laughs> you been D1. Wait, he went D1 what? Football? Yes. Damn. Like he always used to wear a TCU jacket in middle school. He always used to wear a TCU jacket in middle school. He knew he wanted to go to TCU. This nigga got a full ride. Hey. Full ride. D1 in academics in in. You know what's bad about that? Once you go D1 and you stay in your city, bro, just leave. please be careful, bro. Like, bro, that's what I'm saying. I like, heard a nigga at Wyatt got killed like that. Um, yeah. Yeah, was yeah he did. Damn, yeah. hatred, bro. Yes, yeah, like, bro. bro. these niggas start hating on this person because he got what a, I'm saying, a so D1 I, offer? That's what I'm trying to tell you. I'm like, bro, you got to be what? more cautious. Like, Hell, you, you a superstar now. Yeah, that's what I'm telling him. You might not think it, but, bro, you're big. Like bro. Zeke, when Zeke come around, I'll be like, bro, Zeke, watch who you go around, fam. You are, you're considered a superstar. Once you go D1, nigga. Once you go D1, You're considered some that's kind of superstar. That's what I'm saying. You got so much offers that you done already signed your first NIL deal. Damn, man. And it's so, it's so private that he can't tell nobody who, what's the deal. Damn. He's going with only his parents until they have the meeting where they expose all the NIL deals. Because, bro, if he exposes it, he's still walking around the way he walks around, he's going to get killed. Like, bro, that's what I'm saying. You can't expose everything you do now and stuff like that. You're making so much money. And it's like, oh, I'm that like, damn, why you being weird? 
Shit, just tell us that, bro. You have a D1 to offer. Hey, actually, let him. He gonna see this video, right? I done told him multiple damn times. Bro, I buddy. Trust boy out. Buddy, if you have a D1 to offer, please be careful. Once you mm. once you go D1, you're considered a superstar because not everybody can make a D1. No, that's like damn if sure that's can. like if one of your homeboys become this this popping rapper. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I did. I didn't go D1. But she didn't go D1. Did. That's us being honest. <laughs> Ain't that everybody dream was to go D1? Was to go D1 and I asked it and you did so good for you. Shit. So bro, if you understand that concept, bro, be careful, my exactly, nigga. Like, Literally. Bro. But and then I'm like, first of all, this to me this is a red flag, right? When you're just not getting in a relationship with a person, right? Sorry. I don't think you're supposed to like Cut people off on the first No, place? I don't think you're supposed to like If I'm dating a dude, right yeah. You got your own place Or just even if you stay with your mama But you know your mama is lenient to you Letting people come over, right? right? I don't feel like me just now dating a nigga I, First of all, if me and you are talking I don't feel like I should date you off the real Agree We're in a relationship Get to know who I am yeah. at least Cause bro, I can, be, <laughs> I can pretend like I'm this person But I'm really not like I'm really not that type of person. Once you get in a relationship with me, you gonna see the real me. Like, so I don't feel as if like you should have just gotten a relationship that quick. You was just seeing like, how you just get in a relationship that quick. For real. Like, bro, no, I don't. Nigga, think nigga took no time to heal for real. Like, bro, <laughs> I don't think you get in a relationship that fucking what? quick. Like to me, I feel like I don't <laughs> care. I don't care if y'all gotta talk for a whole year. And, and until you comfortable, I don't feel like it's no, it's no, um, no time, for, time for the talking stage. Like, bro, fuck? take your time, get to know that person. At like, least. And then, because when you get in a relationship, y'all gonna feel like y'all been knowing each other for years. Like, you're comfortable with this person. Like, and then another thing, like, red flag there because why are you quick to just invite me to your house right away so we can lay in the bed right away? Uh, wait, wait, wait. wait. Who, 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 over. What is a whole activity, family? Like, bro. Bro, any girl that does that is considered bro, a whore. I don't think, like, you should be able to come to my house within me dating you, like, a month or two. Literally, like, bro. You might could come to my house when you pick me up. With yes, you yes. Like, you coming in my bedroom? No. Why, why are you meeting my brothers and sisters in a month? Like, why? Why like, are you coming to my bedroom? That is like, crazy. So, he no. did He did all that? Yeah, the girl, he was like, oh. I think I asked him for a favor. He was like, oh, I can't because I got to go to my girl. I got to spend night over there for you. Uh, like, like, he could have cut to the face when y'all was having the place. No, like, he could not do me a favor. I asked him to do me a favor. And he could because he sent me all that shit. I hung up on his ass. I told him you're full of shit. <laughs> and I hope you fucking know that. I said, I said it just like that. And I hope you damn know that. And I don't give a damn if you say I was if when I hung up. You call me a rude ass. That nigga tough. Know. Shit, tell us that, boy. You better learn, fam. No, he gonna learn. Yeah. And when, when that bitch do his ass wrong, don't come texting us. They I'm, still together? I guess she don't. Bro, you, you, look, right? I, I don't want to be I your hope, friend no more. <laughs> I hope she's not only with him because he got that D1 offer. I hope she, you know? I hope she don't just leave your ass uh, after five months or after two months or three, whatever shit. I hope she don't leave his ass at all, bro. I hope she actually love this man. Because don't come texting me shit. I don't want to be your friend. Cause this nigga, got, bro, I don't understand. Look, right? If I had a D1 offer, I don't want no love right now. Don't want none. So you feel me? I want the love from the game. From the game, you feel me? That's I, I want the love from the game. Literally. Like, <laughs> I don't want nobody else's love. Like, I want the love from the game. I want to actually know what I'm doing. Cause now I'm getting paid to do something that I love. Literally. And I don't even care to do it for the money. It's cause I love the game. But now I can do it and still and make money up off of it. You pay for my bills. That's what I'm saying. So it's just like, bro, like I don't like, and I try to tell him that I'm God. Like I, I be like, bro, I'm in. It's crazy cause I be telling him like I'm the most like genuine person. Like I'm down to earth. I'm cool. Like I'm everybody go to person. We can talk all of that. I'll give you straight up advice on body or none of that. I just don't like people that do that. You don't cut off your real friends. Without giving a reason. Yeah. Oh, so he's that type. Yes, I don't like that. So I just like for like, me, I have friends, right? It was a time where I needed to isolate myself. I told him, bro, I'm leaving because this and this and this and this, and I left. He didn't do that at no. all. No. 
Oh, nigga need jail time. Nigga. Like, he don't do that at all. And, like, that's why I keep trying to say, like. That is crazy. I don't want to be around. I'm at the point in my life where. Well, you got to detox yourself. Yes, like, I don't want to be around people that feel as if, like, it's okay for you to leave your friends in a blind, your real friends in a blind, without you explaining yourself or telling them this and that, this and that. I, I don't want that. Like, no, I don't. I don't feel like that's healthy. So it's like your friends, your, your friends. You have one time, then you do it again. I feel like. Why your friends sound toxic as fuck? Why is that? No, I, it's just his ass. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. It's just him. But I don't even think he's a toxic person. I think he's more so a hurt person. Like, not. Well, I wouldn't say hurt. But you know what they say? Hurt people hurt people. Yeah, but I wouldn't even say more so like a hurt person. I would say more so like a person that's trying to heal and figure out. Life after graduation in their cell. Bro, like, but this nigga got a D1 offer. You already got some figured out. Right? And we ain't got shit. What? Like, bro, that's what I'm saying. And Yo. I don't know. Like, he failed to understand. Like, oh, God. Like, I might just say, oh, yeah, I'm mad. I want to be his friend of mine. But I really, like, am proud of him. Like, I really am. Because not a lot of us went to college or went D1. So, and, so, so, bro, overall, is a good person. Yes. Overall, he is a good person. Yes. Overall, he okay. is. Okay. And that's what I'm saying. I want him to be careful because he's so much of a good person. People can run over him. That is true. Like, Th that's what I put on. A, that's what I had to learn about it. That's why I'm glad I stopped my my ID game channel because once I started for Dev Vlogs, mm -hmm. bro, I learned so much about life. How to not be too nice, but be nice. Does that make sense? Not be mean and not be too nice, but be in the middle. If that yeah. makes sense. Like, just be the type of person where, so, like, oh, I can't really come help you, help you, but yeah. I can just give, give you, you the leeway. I'm there with you. Yeah, like. I'm there on your downfall. Yeah, like, I'm going to tell you what to do, and you, you going to do it, but I can't just be there to hold your hand. Can't or, be a bread and butter. Yeah, I can't. Like, I got to be just one. I can't be both no more. Like, I can't give you both. Shit is just, dead. Like, that's what I be trying to say. Like, that is know. crazy. And yeah, like, but overall, dude is a good, nice, loving, caring person. What you like, doing? What you doing Friday and Saturday? Shit, I'm supposed to be. I was supposed to work. I get off at ten o'clock. At night, do you? You work night shift? Or I really work. It really just depends. Sometimes I go at eleven in the morning. Like on Friday, I'm gonna go at eleven in the morning to nighttime. So it just varies. Um, Niggas gotta get rid of all these 9 to 5 jobs. No, seriously, like, I'm just out of 9 to 5. Is that my sister? No. It'd be too difficult. That girl ain't even gonna fuck my baby ass. It'd be damn walking outside in this damn heat and shit, boy, nigga. That's one thing I refuse. Our, our last, the last generation, me, like Malik's generation, they low key messed up. They should have been so far ahead, bro. Like, they just be stamping. I be like, bro, what the? F y'all niggas, y'all did something wrong in y'all generation. Like, where the fuck is you? Where the fuck is you? Are? I don't give a damn. I'm not walking. That's yeah, hey, yeah, that's him. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I mean, you got them hot ass damn clothes on. And he got that water bottle. <laughs> like, bro, yeah, I mean, I'm not walking Wait. to no damn store for no damn cigarette. That's yeah, crazy. Today, you feel me? So. This was a day with Fidel Vlogs and Mimi. You feel yes, me? Yes, y'all. So make sure y'all go tap into his YouTube channel. Make sure y'all tap into mine's, and I will post some more content. Tight. And yeah. I got two videos that will be posting a little short vlog. Who's this behind us? Who's this? Stay tuned. Hit that thumbs up. Brother. I don't know when the video's coming out on his channel. Bro, that motivated me to get an iPhone 15. Look at that quality. Man. Yeah, the quality is amazing. Mm -hmm. Um, I will be posting more content on my video on Sunday. I'm gonna spend some time because I don't know. So this video already came out because they watched it on Sunday. Yeah. So yeah, this video's gonna <laughs> come out on Saturday. <laughs> 